What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. Um, ignore that behind me. I'm actually playing some MX Unleashed on my Xbox One, but that's not important. What important? What is important is what I want to talk to you guys about. And that is the truth about myself. And this is actually not just about myself. This is the music industry in general. This is how a lot of artists are in general, including myself. A lot of people have this misconception about me especially. That I'm this huge rock star that's got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers but the truth is i don't really have that many yeah i've got fans and friends you know all over the world but there are very few yeah i've got fans that are in other countries yes but they're mostly you know music artists themselves I'm a fan of their work just like they are of mine. I don't have that many fans at all. Most of my fans are my friends and people that they know and people that I know. That's it. And to be fair, I don't have hardly any money at all the most I have is like a dollar something in cash and the reason why is through amuse and their live streams that's all I've got I've only got a dollar sixty something in live streams that's it that's all I've got to my name as an artist as a musician, that's all I have to my name. Being a music artist isn't always what it's cracked out to be. See, everybody has this misconception that, you know, if you make it big, you know, you make loads of money. That's not true. Even if you make it big, you don't always make a lot. And, you know, people seem to think that, you know, that I am this super mega star, but I'm not. You know, people seem to think that I'm in it for the fame, but I'm not. I want to make a solid living doing what I love, yes. I would love to make a solid living, you know, being a music artist, even if I'm not famous. Even if I'm not big or huge, I would still like to make some kind of decent revenue being able to release my music and, you know, just do it that way. But it's hard for me because unlike most artists that are out there these days, I never had the opportunity to take business in high school. That class was never offered to me. I was never able to take, you know, introduction to business or anything. And people keep telling me, oh, look it up, you know, researcher, researcher. I've done that. I have actually sat down and I have researched all of that. And I've done some of what they've said. You know, I've done all that. But the truth is, a lot of those people that talk business on YouTube and stuff, that honestly, a lot of them don't know what they're talking about. A lot of them just do the business videos for the views. They really don't know what they're talking about half the time. I mean, granted, yes, I have taken some business ethics from people like Ty Pendleton or Ty Lopez. I mean, shout out to Ty Pendleton, though. 
what's up? But, you know, I've taken, you know, business, you know, ethics and ideas, you know, from guys like Ty Lopez and put them to use and some of what he did does work and stuff. Not going to lie. I mean, some of his stuff I have had some amount of success with. I mean, not a whole lot, but it's a start. But... You know, people just don't realize how hard it is to be a music artist. There are bands and artists out there that work for years and years and years and years just to make it anywhere. And even for me as a YouTuber part time, even that's hard work. And a lot of people don't realize just how hard it is to do that because you constantly have to come up with, you know, content. And, you know, if you're not constantly doing that, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. But the truth is, it's very hard to come up with content. For people like myself, it can be very frustrating at times. Because as you guys know, not only am I a musician, but I'm a part-time YouTube gamer as well. And that's always hard to, you know, come up with stuff. Even though, you know, I got the new Xbox One X, which is actually sitting behind me right there. You know, even with that, it's hard to come up with content because you got so many YouTubers creating the same thing that it's hard to be diverse. It's hard to stand out. And ultimately, that makes it harder for, you know, people like me who have, you know, really good content to, you know, get our names out there. It's very hard to do. And, you know, and I've been told by many people, many people in the past, and even I still get told this still to this day, that I should be making money doing something. You know, whether it be my photography, which actually you guys don't notice, I did just get the new Canon Rebel T6, like, last month. Amazing camera. Absolutely love it. But... You know, like, I'm getting told every day that I need to be making money doing something, whether it be, you know, doing my music, whether it be, you know, selling my photography photos, you know, on websites or, you know, creating websites or building apps or selling beats or whatever. But the truth is, it's not that easy for someone like me who has no manager, who doesn't have that person to say, hey, I want to help you to get somewhere with what you're doing. I want to help you to take that next step to make that money. I want to help you make that money so that you can make a living doing what you love to do. It's not that simple for people like me who have never had the opportunity to take business class. It's not that easy. Nor is that, or is it that simple? Especially for me, when it comes to selling instrumentals, it's not that simple. Because everybody's always wanting, you know, these high-end price beats. But they never want to give the guy, like myself, who sells low price beats that are very well made. They don't want to give that little guy a chance. Because see, when I sell my beats, I don't do leasing. Once you buy the beat, it's yours to own. And nobody seems to trust, you know, sites like PayPal or, you know, they don't even trust Facebook. All these artists want the stuff before you get the money. And that's not how it works. That's not how I work. And that's what makes it so hard for me is because I've been ripped off in the past before. I've had artists that I have sent beats to and they said they were going to send me the money and they never did send me the money at all. They never once sent me the money to my PayPal. They always want shit for free. And that's what makes it hard for people like me to make an honest living doing anything at all. 
you know, and it's, it's sad because I can do everything. Literally, I can do everything. I can draw. I can, you know, do album cover art. I can make photo and video edits. You know, I know how to shoot film. I know how to do photography. I know how to do beats and instrumentals. I know how to do music. I know how to make YouTube intros and outros. Hell, I even know how to create channel art. I can even make web professional websites and apps that are actually self-updating. But yeah, what do I get for all of that? Not a damn thing. Because nobody seems to trust me enough to, you know, be straightforward with me. Me, I'm an honest, open guy. I tell you straight up how it is. You want to buy something from me? You send me the money first and then I will send you your product. I'm an honest, hardworking guy. I don't cheat people like that. That's not me. I was raised better than that. My dad was 82nd Airborne Division, United States Army Staff Sergeant. Now let me tell you, if he caught me doing half of what these people try to do to me, my ass would have got beat back in the day for trying to cheat somebody out of their money. You know, and people wonder why I don't make a decent living at anything I do. It's because nobody seems to want to be fair or even give me a shot at doing anything I'm good at. And, you know, and that's literally the reason why I don't make any money doing anything I'm good at. Because nobody wants to give me a fair chance at anything that I do. You know, being a music artist and somebody with talents like what I can do, it's not easy. It's really not. You know, people say that you can, you know, turn what you love to do into a business overnight, which is true for some. But for people like me who are exceptionally good at what we do, it's not that easy for us because we're constantly getting walked on and stepped on and taken advantage of. And you know, and it, it's sad. All I want to do is have that one person that wants to help me get somewhere with anything that I'm good with. Anything that I'm good with. And help me make a decent living doing it. It's not that easy for me. It's not easy being me. It's really not. It's honestly one of the hardest things in the world. Especially when you want to make a decent, constant, solid living. Doing what you love. That's hard to do. Because nowadays nobody trusts anyone. And it's sad. What happened to honesty? What happened to not taking advantage of someone? See, I may not have taken business when I was in high school because it was, like I said, it was never offered to me. And half these people on YouTube are just making these videos for the views and the subs. Like, it's hard for someone like me to make an honest living. And I get told every day that I need to be making money doing any of the stuff that I'm good at. And I'll be straight up honest with you, if I had a regular computer, like a regular desktop tower computer, I could even make video games from scratch through RPG Maker MV. I can make solid games. As a matter of fact, before my PC went out and died on me and I had to get rid of it, I had a couple of game demos that were set and ready to go. And I had another two games already done and ready to be released, but they never got released because the night before they were supposed to be released, that's when the computer crashed. So I never got to release those. 
so I can do a lot more than people think I can. And that's why it's so hard for me to get a job doing anything that I actually love and enjoy doing because nobody's willing to give me that chance and take a chance on me and help me to get somewhere. Nobody's willing to do that. And that's why it's so hard for me to get a job doing anything that I love and am good at doing. I love making videos. I love doing the stuff that I'm able to do. I love creating art. I love creating music and stuff. I love doing all of that. And yet, where do I get? Nowhere. I just get tossed to the side like I don't fucking matter. When I can run circles around half these fucking people that are out there. I can run circles around half these people. And yet, what do I get? I get shit on. I get cast aside. Like, I don't matter. Because I'm not some famous person. That's why I get cast aside. Because I don't have a name for myself out there. Yeah, under my music name, Shadowblade, I have a small name. A very small fucking name. But what do I have with that name to go with it? A dollar sixty-four in live streams through a muse. That's all I have. I don't have any fucking money hardly doing anything I love. Yes, I have a custom clothing shop, but I have to wait till I get like fifteen. That I have to wait till I get up to like fifty dollars to be able to, you know, take and cash out on that money. And I've only got $14 right now in custom clothing. Like, I've only got 14 bucks doing that. You know, and that's why it's hard for me to make any money doing anything that I love to do. And, you know, yes, I would love to, you know, make it in music. But honestly, I would rather take a small amount of cash and have my music heard and be able to help a few people and save a few lives rather than be super famous, making lots of money and trying to be made into somebody that I'm not. I would rather make a small amount of money in my music and being able to save someone's life possibly through my music rather than be famous and not able to do a damn thing about it. That's why I write the music that I write because it's relatable. I write the music I write because I know what it's like to be in these people's shoes. I know what it's like to be depressed. I know what it's like to be bullied. I know what it's like to be picked on every day and night. I know what it's like to be judged and tormented by society. Because I go through that every fucking day of my life. That's why I write the music that I write. To show people that they're not alone. That there is someone out there who knows what they're going through. And to let them know that they are not alone. But, you know, I do hope that you guys know now. Why it's so hard for me to get a job doing anything that I'm good at. It's because nobody's willing to step up and give me that chance and actually pay me up front and then let me do my job. Because I'm the kind of guy that works hard at everything I fucking do. I'm that guy that will tear down something and rebuild it and keep on redoing it and redoing it until it's absolutely perfect. 
whether that applies to everything, whether it's a website, whether it's an app, whether it's music, whether it's artwork, whether it's a YouTube intro, outro, whether it's a YouTube channel icon, whether it's a an icon for, you know, your branding on YouTube. I take every single job that I do seriously. I put in hard work in everything I do. Everything I do. Every video, every song, every lyric written, every art piece made, I put 110% in every time. Because that's how much of a hard worker I am. Because unlike half these fucking people out there, I don't believe in just half-assing this shit. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it correctly. All the way. I don't fucking half-ass it. I put 110% of my hard work into it. Every time, no matter what I'm doing. And yet, what do I get for that hard work? I get absolutely nowhere. And it's sad. It really is. But I hope you guys do understand now why it's so hard for me to get a job doing anything that I'm good at. And why it's so hard for me to make a living. And why I have no money to my name. Anyways, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys on Facebook for watching this. And I'll see you guys later.